Hello, this is Dalen75 Games, and you are watching my rogue in Greater Fey, and I'm about to make a trade with somebody named a path. A path. I call him a pathy, and he's trading me braces of battle for a very cheap price. One strength, three decks, three AC, four. Oh, I didn't look to see if it was... Yeah, it fit. I was pretty sure it would. That's the risk that shows, so I'll put it here. I think. Let's see. Did it look the same? Look the same to me. Let's just sell the... Um, I geared him out with full banded. So he's in full banded, he's level 7. Um, I've got a better weapon, slightly better weapon, though for the price it seemed to be that you needed at least 1.5k to get anything half decent for a rogue. And um, However, going back to the actual time, <coughs> excuse me, of say 99 or 2000, this would have been a really good weapon for a young rogue. It's the acid etched war sword. I, the effect, I think I'm too young for it to happen, the Yukesha effect. And it's just 24 delay, 8 damage. Nothing fantastic for a rogue. I still have my shield until I think dual wield is 12. So now that we've hit level 7, we're going to. Um, Emerald Warrior Sam, going the wrong way. I need to go straight past on the other side of this tree. See if I got anything to uh, train. And I think I do. I think it's uh, Pickpocket. Well, the Rogue is supposed to be one of the best grouping classes that you can have. DPS, hands down, best grouper. And I really like that. I've always been a DPS Rogue. Not always. I have been recently in the last few years, starting with Warhammer Online. Um, but I really liked that in that game, and I was playing a class like that in um, the Old Republic as well. So we're going to go over to our guild, which is way, way, way this way, as far as you can go within Kelethan. And one thing I've noticed is that there's absolutely no music at all. There's absolutely nothing. I may have set this uh, with the last video that I did a while back. And I haven't been making too many of these videos. They're... I, it took me a while because I, I had a whole bunch of things I planned to do, like get him his banded and get him a weapon, which means a uh, bunch of crafting in Cabalus is where it came from, from uh, Sarkis, my shaman. Ixar Shaman, and then using my ranger to transfer, get the bags, and go all the way out to East Common Lands where he can uh, try to buy a, a decent weapon for him. Okay, so what do we have here? Um, level 10 is backstab. That's what I'm really looking forward to. That will really, really help me um, do a lot of DPS. Disarm traps, dodge is 31, so that's fine. Dual wield is 6. Double attack is 16. Dual wield is 13. Hand, hand, hide. Hide have been slowly <laughs> putting, um, trying to practice in it, but nothing much has come about. So 12 is parry. Pick lock. Okay. So we pick lock. I don't even know what the heck to use that for. Honest, honest to God, like, what, what's to pick in this game? It'll probably be so uncommon, so rare. Uh, repose is 30. Safe fall is 12. So a lot of things happen at 12 and 13. Sneak, I have been, it's, though it's very low, I have been putting practice into it, but it's not easy to get up. Pickpockets, oh, there we go. So pickpockets is something that I can do, and that might be a fun thing to do while I'm fighting. Swimming, throwing, not really something. I don't really plan to use them for any trades. Uh, begging, let's just put in. Just 
just to help out, get it going. Um, yeah, that seems oh, intimidation. I don't even know what that is. <coughs> you know what? What is that? Is that like fear? Because I have no idea. Uh, okay, so I think we're we're good now. I maxed out my um, one hand slash with my new weapon. I was grouped with a really good group in uh, Crushbone. Unfortunately, I had to leave it because I had to watch my son a few hours ago. So now he has all his gear that I want him to have. And I would like to try picking pockets on somebody. You probably have to get behind him. That would be my guess. I don't know. I still have memories of this way back with in classic EQ of watching the rogues pickpocket and I thought, you know, it's kinda of funny. <laughs> While they're in the middle of combat and the uh the mob that you're picking will say something. Stop thief or, or hey thief. I don't know what it was. Um okay, let's let's go up. We're gonna go to the orc lift. I'm gonna go hunt down some orcs. And I have a feeling I'm going the wrong way. I also get safe fall, so <laughs> I don't think that's going to help up top here. Not yet, anyways. I don't know how far you can actually fall. It's kind of useless in Project 99, 1999. Because most people, I would assume, put their frames per second to the max, and in doing so, uh, falling doesn't damage you. So, another thing I have, I have two full bags of crushed bone belts, and I'm going to take that out, probably, say, level 8. I'm hoping to get a few more bags of that. Okay, so we're on the right path now. At this point, I should be calling out for a group. This guy, I'm very thankful for. He actually gave me, I don't have it on me, but he gave me a um, Dragoon Dirk for free a few hours ago. I guess he's been sitting at AFK there for a bit. Now, where are we? Gorley is his name. Thank you very much, Gorley, if you ever watch this. And I noticed that um, I absolutely tear the uh, Crushbone orcs. Like any orc that's blue, I just rip them up. I can kill two of them at once. I really wish that that was kind of like that taken to a later stage in the game. If they had kind of cap the kind of difficulty say level 10 the game would be a lot smoother heck just add in more levels to get I don't know make it so it takes longer to gain levels just the difficulty yeah I'm kind of bitching I know well he's green but he'll give me belts See, now I am finding that loud. Oh, just kind of warped. Warp an orc. No belt. You can hand in belts, and uh, I hear they're good till even up to level 12. Here's an orc. I've got his, um, one of Theron's really good bows. 125 range. And his arrows are 125 range as well, so I've got really awesome range. Here's a belt. And of course I'm overweight. Now if these two guys are blue over here, I can take them both on. Um, one of them's kind of big. One of them's green. There's three, actually. There's an oracle. Like that he's being this is actually or kill again I didn't realize I was over here 
There's a green and there's a blue. So I'm going to show some footage inside of Crushed Bone. I just want to kill a few orcs outside here, and then I'll go inside. You have to watch some of these orcs, the Centurion levels. They go all the way from like 4 to like 10. Wish I had another form of attack, but... <clears throat> come dual wield, I won't have any reason, to, and backstab, I won't have any any reason to bitch at all about that because I will be doing super awesome damage. I will be having to look for groups more often though. See now we have two yellows there. Those guys would tear me apart. Oh, these are just two greens. Very quick kills. And of course it's raining again in Greater Fey. I think I see an orc up ahead. An oracle. Let's grab them. See that range? It's pretty damn good. <laughs> Trying to drowse me. <clears throat> oh, and I have some cleric buffs on me as well. And that's got to be helping. Let's see about pickpocket. Oh, he blinded me. Right when I pressed pickpocket. <laughs> I think I hear him walking away, but I can't see. Yeah, he was walking. Uh, okay, where'd he go? I saw him over this way. There he is. I don't know if it did anything. Might tell me I need to be behind the target. Just doesn't say anything. Weird. Doesn't even. Two evens, a little dangerous for me. Here's one, a shaman. Okay, try that again. Nothing. You can't steal while attacking. Okay, so you can't try to steal while attacking. So I'm not attacking. I've stolen two silver. Took a while for that one to recognize I was there. <clears throat> yeah, I've got a really good hit rate. 
sure that my, my dex is 113. Uh, my strength could use a boost. Wish I had 100 strength. for a group again. Uh, for some reason, uh, it's over there. <clears throat> Excuse me. See, one thing I do have that, <coughs> that my ranger didn't have is a full suit of bounded at this level, level 7. I was still working on getting bounded all the way up to like 10 or 11 or 12. <coughs> Excuse me. And yes, I've been quite sick in the last few weeks. This is the reason why I haven't been able to do much for Project 99 videos. I should be getting better. I just I, I don't feel terrible other than a little tired. Okay, lots of targets for us. I do have to be careful about runners because they may aggro others. And we have to watch out for trains. So advertise inside a crush bone. Very good consecutive damage. Consecutive hits, I mean. Not so much the damage isn't fantastic. It could be better, but the hitting is really good. I don't usually hit with any. Is that even? This would be a little bit of a good fight. Test out my skills. Not doing so well. Bitey booter. We may have to run. I'm gonna slowly back up. Still hitting him. We are winning. Might give me a chance to use some bandages. But he's going to run at good fight. Fortunately, I can't use my bandages. But we can still hunt down a little blues without stopping because I hardly take any damage from them. <clears throat> yeah, I had some kind of bronchitis. Some kind of, I could, my lungs were hurting for several days just from breathing. I don't know. Yeah, they are all blue. Yeah, there's one here. And a crushed bone belt. Somebody left that for me. Thank you. There's a pawn. Just kill it. And this artwork centurion over there. See, belts are worth quite a bit of experience. So even if they're green, just to get a belt is worth it. Oh, there's another one right there. Let's get him. So we're going to have two on us. Just for my bow, this green is less than 50%. It would die fast. Yeah, this kind of fluid combat, I wish... It just... It's a, it's fun. It's exciting. I mean, you can still get your butt whooped by fighting the wrong guy, but... <clears throat> this is the kind of... This is the way I wish the entire game basically played out when it came to level ratio compared to yours. But, like I said in my thoughts on Project 99 EverQuest... Um, at around level 10, you really start to notice, not really, you start to notice that they get tougher and tougher, and by level 20, 
I think all but a warrior <clears throat> can actually melee. You have to have good gear, for one, but um, I won't be able to do the same thing when I'm 20 to blue mobs. They'll just rip me up. Um, <clears throat> however, that being said, with a group, um, I'll be able to do a heck of a lot of damage. And I shouldn't say I won't be able to do this to mobs, because, I mean, in one of my videos, I think it was my in a shaman in, in South Carolina, there was a very twinked out rogue who was taking on yellows and evens like they were nothing. So she was super twinked. I I don't have the money for that. I mean, she probably put 20, 30, 40K into her character. I, at best, I can do maybe... I think I put about seven, eight hundred worth of, of platinum into this, and that's about all I can afford. A lot of people who have been playing this game have been playing for years. And even that, I mean, you could... Um, there's somebody that I was grouped with, uh, with my shaman, that he started making tons of cash if you buy low and sell high in West Karana. And I don't really feel like spending days doing that, but he was able to make a lot of money and he's actually the one that decked out, finished decking out, um, except for two earrings for my shaman, two plus three wisdom earrings. He's the one that got me a whole bunch of magical items and really helped me out. I should be able to take these guys on, maybe if I'm about 80%, three orcs, at, three blues at once. We'll see how we do. Excuse me. Getting close. We're a low level, but see, the thing is, we have this cleric buff, which has added a lot of hit points. Um, probably should get in the fight while I still have it, tell you the truth. And maybe I should do that right now. So here we go three orcs. This is going to be a good fight. I may not survive. I just miss having a... Look at my dodge go up. <laughs> three three times. I wish... Um, I had some kind of kick or something. Just make me feel like I'm doing more damage. So the first two orcs will not run. And we're not hitting too much. I wish I was hitting more. I don't know what happened. Need to hit more. That's a bit better. Come on, another. There we go. That's a bit better. Second one's down to half, less than half. So you keep saying my will is not sufficient. So I wonder what. <clears throat> there goes my uh, buff. <clears throat> Excuse me, I wonder what level I'll be able to use that effect for it to proc. I don't even know what Yukesha is, to tell you the truth. And this fight went very well. And I was grouped with Smug, the bard who just ran past me. I guess he doesn't want to group anymore. I was grouped with him earlier, with that other group I was referring to. Can't really help but be uh, overburdened. I could try to buy some strength rings. They're not too expensive, but uh, there's, I was grouped with him earlier as well, Bruen. There's another orc. Super range on my bow. One stunning me. Ok, 
Okay, and we'll be able to use some bandages after this fight. There's a big orc over there. He's green. Let's just grab him. my wounds. <clears throat> and here's a train following somebody. Grab this orc. belt. Jeez, I'm going to have like four bags full. And that's cool. <clears throat> I don't even have to uh, bring it with me. I just have to leave it in the bank and get in the bank down there in um, Caledon. Out west. I think my bind wound skill is pretty low. Fine wound, awful at 10. Just went up to 11. You gotta start somewhere. Okay, 50%. Let's go look around for stuff to kill. Thought that wasn't work for a second. Smug. That guy apparently just won a group again. But I don't know if I even have time to group, to tell you the truth. My son will be waking up for his nap uh, in a few minutes, actually. This isn't going to be a very long video. I'm hoping to do around maybe half an hour, 40 minutes, 45 minutes at most. So it will be my shortest um, P99 video. Just another orc. Let's see if there's a belt on him, if we're lucky. Ah, so he smug is around. I don't know, he's looking for group, so obviously he's not grouped. There's an orc. And two orcs. I really think my armor is helping a lot. Okay, that was really rude. Rude of smug, because he actually came and he killed steel. Though he may have a camp set up. Still, he's looking for groups, so that wasn't his group. Anyways, I got a heal out of it. That's a new guild I haven't seen around before. The Evil Empire. I think I saw another guild as well. There's another Crushbone Belt. Unfortunately, we are overburdened. My experience has gone up. Or my, um, yeah. Just in this video, I've gotten over two bars worth. The Green Centurion. Let him come to me and see if. This is the one of the ones that Smug killed. See if there's anything on it. 
I'll just grab this for some gold. I'm overburdened as it is anyway. Oh yeah, I forgot there's the rogue quest I need to do. By the slavers. Let's kill this orc and then go do it. You know, it's very fluid at this level how many you can kill. It reminds me of some of the other MMOs you can play. Um, basically, I mean, just about all the new ones. This is how fast you kill them and how fast you gain experience. And like the mid levels, even, of the game. The Old Republic is an example. Jeez, at level 7, all you have to do is kill 10 guys and you're level 8. In that game. Okay. Now, as far as I know, I think it's the dwarf that you hand the quest in. The, um, the coin to useless token. Another greenie going through them. But I'm not sure about that. Another belt. See, it pays to kill the greens as well. But we're going slower and slower. 102 over 81. I can loot this corpse yet. Just grab that. And this is what. Ah, I got a belt out of smug kill steel. That is kind of an asinine thing to do, actually. I, I've never done that to another player, I think it's extremely rude. And you can't claim it's his camp, because he was not camping here, so. <clears throat> You could make the argument if I just wandered in and started killing for somebody's camp, then yeah. But there's not even anyone here at the moment. What are all these things? Whoa. Small patchwork tunic is going to really overburden me. In fact, I don't even have room for it. I sound very greedy, so... <laughs> it's, um... Get some kills over there. Now, we're just going to try this. Um, what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to pause and come back. And I'm going to go and hide. Uh, actually, tell me if I successfully hid, which it doesn't for my ranger. Failed. Oh, but hide is... Um, that's a wood elf thing. So, you don't ever get really skilled in it. Okay, you have hidden yourself from view. And uh, we'll be right back to see if... Uh, I know what to do with that coin quest. For and we're road. back. So I found out that I was going to do the wrong thing. It's a good thing I checked it out. I need to find a wood elf, I guess? His name is Kellen, and he spawns next to Rondo. Now, I actually don't want to pull... There was, like, at level 7, there was a red and yellow slaver there. So we do not want to get that on us. So Rondo, I think, usually spawns in here, doesn't he? Dwarven Slave. Dwarven Slave. There's a lot of Dwarven Slaves. They seem to like Dwarves. Lento Dwarven Slave. Um, somebody just left the Legionnaire's Corpse. We have no room. Absolutely no room on us. Actually, if I do find more belts, I'm going to have to get rid of something. Good orc to kill. Yeah, I had 80 more. 
hit points now that the buff is gone. I don't have that. So we're looking for Kellen, and I don't know how to spawn him. I have a key on me. I'm not sure who it goes to, though. Key number, Shackle Key 24. I think these, these orcs are a little bit higher in level. Probably around level 5, 6, as opposed to some of the level uh, fours and fives I was fighting at the entrance. A lot of misses. A dodge is going up. I think it just hit its cap for the level. Fight is taking a while. Hey, come on, get a good hit on him. Okay. Let's try to use up this key. What you do is you go up to them. Oh, you know what? I've got. I can make some more room here. We can get rid of this copper. One copper piece. He needs key number 16. So um, let's get rid of 290 copper. That helps our weight. I don't know who needs 24. Yikes. Red slaver. That would mean my death. I won't be able to outrun them at my health level. And we've got a or yellow orc and a blue one. Two yellows down there. Whoa. Almost looked like a place you can go into and never get out. That did happen to me at the entrance to... Um, shoot. We gotta run. Oh, and that fall hurt us. Really now? Like, was that necessary to hurt us so much? <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna live. It was the fall that did it. My health was fine. Don't lose much experience at this level. And just kill one blue and get right... Oh, no, it's still a tenth of the level, I think. But a killing a few blues will get me right back. Yeah, without taking that damage from the fall, I would have been able to outrun him. Stupid. Okay, so now I'll bring up my note... And I don't have Crushbone listed on here. Though I do have the Pod Lift. Sorry, Orc Lift. 1,200. And it's hard to see in the rain and the fog. But that's typical of the way it is in Greater Fae. Okay, so we were going past the number I wanted. There's the pod lift. Sorry, orc lift. Now, <clears throat> there's a path here. Take me this way. Let's see the damage. I don't even recognize it. Lost experience isn't very much. Hanging around the entrance is a good thing to do, though. We're getting into a group. If I even had... If I was part of that group, 
that was by the slavers. It definitely could have taken them on. Probably don't want me, though, because I'm too low and... Alright, and I can't heal or anything. And I'm not a tank. Although I actually can do half-decent tanking for the moment. Level 10, that would probably change. Here it is. You can always tell where Crush Bone is by the giant logs on fire. And practice your sneak as you run. Oh, look what he has. like some kind of clawed hand. Oh, right next to an even orc. He's gone. Okay. Sneak. Didn't work. Hide worked, but we need sneak to work. The pawn might not attack. Okay, so we have a chance here. I'm as quiet as a herd of running elephants is what I keep saying. Back in action. You are our first victim. Bunch of orcs over there for us to kill as well. So it's a cloak quest. It's like plus two dexterity, is it? And five armor. I think we'll take a hit in armor, AC by two, but we get dexterity. That's something I'd like to do, but uh, Rondo's not up. Probably do it if I was in a slaver group, killing the orc slavers around that area. I'm too young to go over there and do it on my own. Now, if I was lo level 10, definitely could. I'd own the area. <clears throat> Quite often, Legionnaires spawn in the area, and they, they didn't today, which is kind of odd. And Legionnaires can be a little tough. Especially since I was in a group that no one was level 8 yet, so our healers couldn't meditate. I don't want to run back because I'm, I'm dead. I won't be able to outrun everyone. Good way to go. Okay, so now let's bind some wounds. And let's take a look over here. We've got it blue, blue, and blue. So we're too low in health to take all three on at once. <clears throat> well, I think this video has gone on for as long as I'd like it to. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, and there's going to be more videos coming this week. I'm going to try to put out a few more, maybe three. 
to make up for the lack of Project 99 videos in the last few weeks. And don't forget to check out my thoughts on EverQuest, uh, Project 1999 EverQuest.